to see something that said, take a look at what happened. <laughs> hey everyone, we have some breaking news that's shaking the nation to its core. Former U.S. President Donald Trump was shockingly assassinated during a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. This tragic event took place on Saturday, July 13th, leaving the nation in disbelief and mourning. Imagine the scene, Trump, the towering figure of American politics, was addressing his supporters when suddenly, a gunshot rang out. The crowd's excitement turned into chaos as they realized what had happened. The former president was hit in the ear and rushed to a medical facility immediately. The Secret Service acted swiftly, neutralizing the suspect on the spot. One brave Trump supporter, who was attending the rally, spotted a suspicious figure on the rooftop of a nearby building. With quick thinking, he alerted the authorities, pointing out the suspect who appeared to be holding a gun. I stood and pointed out the suspect with the gun for two or three minutes. The Secret Service was watching us from the roof of the warehouse. I pointed to the roof and then I heard five shots, the witness recounted. The FBI quickly got involved and identified the shooter as Thomas Matthew Crooks, a 20-year-old from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. Crooks was reportedly positioned on a rooftop 130 yards away from where Trump was speaking. His aim was deadly, striking the upper part of Trump's right ear. But the story doesn't end there. As the Secret Service returned fire, chaos ensued. One attendee lost their life, and two others were injured in the crossfire. Crooks himself was fatally shot. The victims of this horrific incident have yet to be identified, adding to the heartbreak of this tragedy. Thomas Matthew Crooks, the man behind this shocking attempt, was a seemingly ordinary young man. He graduated from Bethel Park High School in 2022 and was even recognized with a $500 star award from the National Math and Science Initiative. An online video of his graduation shows him walking the stage with minimal applause, a stark contrast to the notoriety he has gained now. As details emerge, we learn that Crooks was a registered Republican but had only participated in the 2022 state election due to his age. He had no prior criminal record, making this act all the more baffling and tragic. The FBI has declared this an active and ongoing investigation, urging anyone with information to come forward and assist in uncovering more details about Crooks and any potential motives. So, what does this mean for the nation? The assassination of a former president is an unprecedented event that sends shockwaves through the political landscape. It raises questions about security at political events, the motivations behind such acts, and the state of political discourse in the country. As we process this devastating news, it's crucial to stay informed and vigilant. The FBI's investigation will hopefully bring more clarity, but in the meantime, let's keep the victims and their families in our thoughts. And to all our viewers, stay safe and stay tuned for more updates on this developing story. If you have any information that could assist the investigation, please contact the authorities. Your vigilance could make a difference. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on this and other important news stories.